What makes a good music teacher? Definitely not abuse. I remember one of my professors was struggling with some personal issues that were affecting their performance at school. We were six weeks into the semester and some of the freshmen still didn't have lessons with them. Naturally, they voiced their concern with the head of the school. We were called into a meeting with the professor the next night thinking that we would come up with a plan to get back on track. Instead, the professor looked at us and said that if any of us complain again, it would be made sure that we would never work in the industry again. This might seem shocking to some, but this kind of behavior is more widespread than is talked about. Many teachers think that abuse is a sign of building strength, yet it merely masks their inability to inspire and educate.